guys, Missy from Ohio here. I was going to ride my scooters. I was going to ride scooters with my boy, but he decided to turn me down for a game of pool with his dad. So I um, was going to make this video response to Robert Taylor's post. He uh, made a video and posted it on Facebook, and it was about the differences between a brick and mortar business and a like MLM and network marketing as a whole. And you know, I always thought that they were different. And depending on which side you're kind of looking at, network marketers a lot of times they will call a brick and mortar business a pyramid scheme. But anybody who insists on working in a brick and mortar business we'll call MLM and network marketing a pyramid scheme. And uh, Robert, he compared them to the fact that you can own either business. So in a sense, neither of them really are a pyramid sch scheme. You know, an MLM and network marketing just takes a lot less money to fund to start up, and it seems a lot more reasonable and achievable to be in profit Whereas with a brick and mortar business, you, you know, you're getting a loan for, you know, maybe up to even a few hundred thousand dollars and you're trying to drum up business that way, but you, you still have people under you, you know, you, you might be the owner, but you have managers, district managers. If you run a chain, you have your workers that get paid the minimum wage, but you know, someone it takes them a lot longer to work up to an executive, for, let's say, from the spot at minimum wage. And a lot of people, they will say that, that they're happy with that minimum wage. They'll stay there because they don't know how to work their way up. There's not a lot of information out there how to work their way up. And they don't believe it's achievable. Whereas anybody in the network marketing industry and doing MLM they know that whatever they want to make, they, they just have to push a little bit harder and keep doing the same thing that they're doing. Um, Robert said something about a Starbucks. You can work at a Starbucks. You can serve people coffee all day. You can make coffee all day. But if you go and make more coffee, you're not going to work your way up to executive. By continuing to make coffee, you have to do different things. And with uh, the network marketing, you do have to do a little bit of different things but it's not so different compared to what you've already learned to do you know you're just kind of adding on to it and not really having to go put yourself out there in a whole different way you know if you've already made the commitment to change yourself to run your own business and make a couple extra hundred dollars a month then you can push yourself that much harder doing the same types of things to make a couple extra thousand dollars a month versus working for somebody else you know you're working in somebody else's business you're a lot more apt to stay put versus working your way up and I believe that they're both very comparable because on either side you can own a business it's just that one is a lot more easily obtained than the other and you know you're kind of trying pretty hard in both of them but you have a lot more writing on the line with a brick and mortar business. You, you have a lot more to lose. You know, you can go completely bankrupt. Most of these businesses, even if they're up to a couple hundred dollars a month, you know, you can pour a lot of money into them. But if you do nothing, you're going to be out that money. But I don't think somebody's going to take a $200,000 loan to start up a business that's uh, $200 to start per month. And, um, you know, a lot of people on either side will claim either one to be a pyramid scheme. And I used to feel that way, too. But when Robert pointed out that you can own either business, I actually decided that neither of them are really a pyramid scheme. It's just that MLM and network marketing, you have a lot more freedom because you're, it's much more easily started on your own. You're starting your own business. You can run it in your spare time. And as long as you stick with it, you're in profit pretty soon versus putting all kinds of time, effort, and money into a brick and mortar business that if you know, you're know you out, you'll never get that time back. You have to either sell for real low or you're out thousands of dollars. And it'll be really hard for you to ever gain them back. 
It's just, you know, they're both pretty similar. One is just more common person friendly. You don't have to have, a lot of times investors will go with the brick and mortar businesses, but, you know, it's much harder to obtain that type of business, especially knowing the business I'm in, I started with $20. That's all I started with, $20. And, you know, within the first couple months, I was seeing a couple hundred dollars a month. And then I just added on to that, upgraded, added on, did some more training and pushed myself that much harder to make that much more. And, you know, being in profit in a couple of months and not having to worry about it was one of the best things that I had ever done. And uh, Robert Taylor, I answered this for him because he's one of the people that showed me the way and kept me moving when I was confused and didn't know what to do. So thank you, Robert Taylor. I enjoyed responding with a video message to your video, and I hope you have a great day.